wood preparation, a table full of stuff, knives and sharpening gear, and of course, the really tactical. Anyone who knows this uh, knife, knows my channel, knows that I use this quite a lot, as well as my uh, ZP Special, which is also on my belt right now. But this is one of my go-to knives, you can see how used it is. And uh, I've used it for lots of heavy chopping tasks because nice and thick, good blade, good solid. Full tang all the way through the handle there. But last week I was gifted an MOD survival knife, okay? Now then, anyone who knows my channel knows I just can't stop messing with things. So I had to alter it. Yes, look, I put a clip point on it. Some people are going to say sacrilege, I've ruined it. Other people are going to go, that looks mean. Well, obviously it gives you a much better point if you want to do little holes and divots for fire sticks and things like that. If you want to just get in and out of smaller spaces, it's much better. Um, it doesn't affect the strength of the blade at all. It just gives you a nice clip point in there so that you can do the old uh, thing there and carve nice little holes. You see the lovely little hole it started to make there. Beforehand, it used to just... Anyone who's not familiar, this blade is just basically a big oval at the end. So this one now has a nice clip point on it. So for heavy chopping tasks, this will be the beast. And for the lighter work, that will be the beast. And uh, I've got to try and work out now. I've got so many knives, how I'm going to carry them all, because they're all my favourites. Uh, how I'm going to carry them all around without looking like some sort of Rambo pillock. Uh, never going to happen. I'm always going to look like a pillock, so that's fine. So there we are, some blades just out and about being used in the woods.